iPad 9th Gen Charging Port Replacement The iPad 9th Gen is a popular device known for its sleek design and impressive functionality, but like all electronics, its charging port can eventually wear out or become damaged. When the charging port is faulty, it can result in slow charging, no charging, or even prevent the device from powering on. While charging port replacements may seem straightforward, micro-soldering is often required for repairs involving the iPad 9th Gen, especially when there is damage to the internal connections or components that are part of the charging circuit. This process is delicate and demands precision, as the charging port is soldered onto the motherboard, which requires careful disassembly and professional soldering skills. In this guide, we'll walk you through the necessary steps to replace the charging port, including how to safely disassemble the motherboard, since the screen is already removed from earlier repair. Keep in mind that this procedure should only be attempted by those familiar with micro-soldering techniques and handling sensitive electronics. Let's dive into the steps for restoring your iPad's charging functionality. Removing the motherboard. Locate all the screws and identify all the screws securing the motherboard to the device frame. Use a tree point screwdriver to remove them. Disconnect all necessary cables and flex connected to the motherboard. Disconnecting components. Detach any other connectors attached to the motherboard, like the camera, antenna, or display connectors. Use the heat gun to soften any adhesive that may be holding the motherboard in place. Apply heat directly to the area where the motherboard is secured. You can also use isoprofil alcohol to help soften the adhesive.
cautious to avoid overheating components and focus the heat on the areas around the motherboard edges. The charging port is typically soldered directly onto the motherboard. Removing the old charging port. If there are screws or clips holding the charging port, carefully remove them. Then, assess the solder joints that hold the charging port in place. Removing the motherboard. Carefully lift the motherboard from the iPad chassis. Be gentle to avoid damaging any components or connectors. It's important to take extra caution around fragile flex cables. Locate the charging port. With the motherboard now accessible, locate the charging port area on the board. Apply soldering flux to the joints of the charging port. Preheat the soldering iron. Heat your soldering iron to an appropriate temperature around 350 degrees Celsius to 662 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the soldering iron to heat the solder joints and, using tweezers, carefully remove the old charging port once the solder has melted. For any excess solder, use a desoldering braid or a solder suction tool to clean up the area. In this procedure, I am using a hot air to heat the contacts and carefully lifting the old charging flex cable. Set the hot air to 350 to 380 degrees Celsius. Be careful not to overheat. Prepare the new charging port. Align the new charging port, place the new charging port in its proper position on the motherboard, ensuring that the solder pads are properly aligned with the port's pins. Solder the new charging port. Carefully apply small amounts of solder to the joints of the new charging port. Ensure that the solder flows smoothly and there are no bridges between the pads unintended solder connections. Inspect solder joints. Inspect each joint for a good connection. A well soldered joint will be smooth, shiny, and properly formed. Reattach the motherboard. Place the motherboard back into its position, securing it with screws.
Reassemble the device. Reconnect the battery. Once the new charging port is securely soldered in place, reconnect the battery connector to the motherboard. Be sure that all other components and connectors are properly reattached. Replacing the charging port on an iPad 9th gen using micro soldering requires precision and care. The heat gun plays an important role in softening adhesive and making the disassembly process smoother. Always ensure that you're using the right tools, including a heat gun, to safely and effectively replace the charging port without damaging the motherboard or other components. Attach the screen. Carefully reattach the front screen to the body, ensuring the screen's connectors are properly aligned. Test the new charging port. Before fully sealing the device, turn the iPad on and test the new charging port. Plug in the charger and verify that the iPad is charging properly. If the device charges successfully, proceed to the final reassembly. Shout out to Board Vlogger and to all my subscribers, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate your time and support. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing it with others who might benefit. 
Your engagement helps the channel grow and allows me to continue creating more quality content. Until next time, take care and stay safe.